Am I the A for telling my bio father he doesn't get to play father now? I, 32 female, have barely had a relationship with my 58 male father. My parents split up when I was about eight months old. My bio father was a drug addict and sold it when I was a child into my teens. However, even though this man holds an astonishing arrest record, the courts still determined that he has visitation rights, and if my mom did not allow him access, he could take her to court for more. Not that he would actually use them often. I maybe saw him once a year if I was lucky, though he would call and make plans often and just not show up. I can remember distinctly one Christmas sitting on the front stoop, crying for hours on end with my bags packed, waiting for him to arrive because he promised this time he would, refusing to allow my mother to bring me inside until my fingers were almost purple. This man also brought me to a home with my sibling in which he sold said drugs. We would go to spend a week with him, and he would be in the back room for almost the entire time. More often than not, it was his girlfriend of the time that was taking care of us. If we were lucky to see him once every day, that was a blessing. I distinctly remember one time in which I had finally got to see him after two years, and when I was there, a police officer came to the door. I slammed the door in the cop's face because I knew he would try and take my dad, and I had finally gotten a chance to see him, so I told him he wasn't welcome. Or walking through the McDonald's drive through at 2 o'clock in the morning at 10 years old because we were hungry, and it wasn't that far. We could see it from the stoop of the home. It wasn't until I was 11 years old when I finally realized that my dad was a drug addict because it was the first time he smoked crack in front of me. We actually ended up breaking down on the side of the road, and a cop came to see if we were okay. My dad had a suspended license because he had not paid child support, of course. Before the cop went back to the vehicle to search it, I knew if he found the crack pipe, I would not see my dad again for a long time, so I hid it in my bag. Anytime I did see him, he would always make sure to tell me that the reason why he didn't have our family together was because of my stepdad. It was always my stepdad who destroyed our family. It was always my mom's fault he couldn't come see us. It wasn't until I was 14 and threw it in my mom's face that it was her fault that I couldn't see my dad because she takes all his money that she finally printed out all of his child support payments. For two kids, for 13 years, he had paid a grand total of $6,000. And all of that was garnished because they had found out where he worked. He never voluntarily paid a dime. Fast forward to being 27 years old, I have not had a relationship with him, and all of a sudden I get a call from my aunt telling me that I need to help him because he's trying to get sober after beating up my 74-year-old grandfather with a broken neck. I started to reconnect with him under the condition that he stayed sober. This didn't last, and he called me on my birthday while he was drunk and told me that the only thing he ever did to me was stay away. I screamed at him that I wish that he had actually stayed away because he ruins any opportunity of me having a normal childhood. I had nightmares from the things I experienced in his home. The relationship I have with my stepfather was strained for many years because of him. This man tells me that I owe him the opportunity to be a father. I told him he had that opportunity when I was a child. He chose drugs over his children. He doesn't get to play father now. I hung up the phone and have not spoken to him since. However, my aunt and other relatives have been telling me that I'm judging him too harshly. And how is he supposed to stay sober if I don't give him a chance? But I have given him so many chances over the years. My aunt also tells me that this is the nature of addiction and I should go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings 
because then I would understand I need to just accept them as they are. But I don't feel like I should have to. When my life feels less complicated and better without him in it. So am I the aho? Now for the comments. Nope. Cut off anyone who sides with him. Honestly, thank you. I feel so gaslit by all that side of the family telling me I'm failing as a daughter and how that was years ago and I should just let it go. He destroyed your childhood. You are allowed to not let him destroy your adulthood. I strongly suspect Alcoholics Anonymous would tell you what you are doing is what is best for you. He has to get well for himself, not you carry his emotional load for him. You are being gaslit. You can't make him stay sober. That is something he needs to do on his own. I am the oldest adult child of an alcoholic, so I understand where you're coming from. I did go to Alcoholics Anonymous, and it helped me realize this. You do what's best for you. CODA is another great support group for family members of an addict. OP, his sobriety is on him, no one else. And any enablers in his life that tell you otherwise are sick people. I'm in recovery, and no one makes me stay sober or makes me choose to drink. That's all on me. You take care of you because he cannot be trusted to do so. And don't give in to guilt. You owe him nothing. Yeah, don't listen to that crap they're trying to gaslight you into helping so that they can get him off their hands. If they really cared about y'all's relationship, they would have stepped in when you were a kid. The fact a child had to hide a crack pipe from their parent is just effed up. Thank you. That's exactly what I said. I feel so freaking gaslit. Like they're trying to play that all of the trauma I lived through somehow goes away because I'm an adult. Not the A. Actions have consequences. Your bio father abused you. There are no circumstances where you are obligated as an adult to interact with your abuser. Anyone trying to manipulate you into spending time with your abuser is an enabler of the abuse. Ignore them. I'm sorry that happened, and I hope you can set boundaries with your family or stop having contact with them. I also hope you had the opportunity to get some counseling to help you process all your experiences so you can live your best life. That is very kind of you to say, and I truly do appreciate it. I was in counseling a long time ago, but I think maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get back into it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.